Do y'all remember we didn't do the ball cap method? No, you don't. You don't remember that. You don't remember that. gentlemen and everybody in wait hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair on my birthday and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 mm. I don't know if today's my birthday or it's the day after my birthday or somewhere around but either way it's gonna be the week of my birthday so that means it's my birthday so cheers clink 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 wait did I say clink 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 did I say it Clink, 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 clink. I only have one sip. I don't know why I'm forgetting it. <laughs> Obviously, it's a special day because y'all see this scalp that I done borrowed from somebody else? Like, look at this scalp, baby. Like, look at it. Look at, get a good look at this scalp. I felt like it was the perfect occasion to wear the perfect wig. And this wig is the perfect wig. Like, I want y'all to get a good gander at homegirl while I ask y'all a quick question. Can you subscribe for me for my birthday? <laughs> Y'all gonna be sick of me, I'm sorry. Can you subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell? Just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week, wigs, vlogs, things like that, so. And just watch a couple videos, that's it. That's all I'm asking. Oh yeah, can you also tell me what you're drinking down below? I forgot. I am having a little Rita little pineapple Rita lime juice pineapple juice and something clear it rhymes with Shaquilla that's what <laughs> before we get into the details on this wig I want to say thank you to Nadula hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video I'm gonna pull y'all real close like I said this wig is from Nadula hair and I want y'all this net um I don't do the ball cap method so if you see a wig cap act like you don't see it because I already told y'all, I don't do the ball cap. We don't do the ball cap method here on this channel, okay? Okay, so this is, ooh, you can see the wig cap. Hello, stop it. This is what the wig looks like. Look at the hairline. I didn't pluck it, I did bleach the knots. I did a couple things. Look at the hairline. That hairline is sitting, baby. You see that? And look at the hair, look at the texture. I'm gonna tell y'all all the details on this wig, how this wig came packaged, and everything you need to know about this unit. If you want to get more details on this wig, see what this wig looked like right out of the box and how I customized this wig, get her looking like this. Please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and the coupon code. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, let me get my sip of tea. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get started with applying this wig. But first, I'm going to go give y'all a few details on the wig. Of course, when you get your wig, it comes in the Nadula hair box. They come with the sleek black box. Y'all don't care about the box. You don't. Inside of the box, Nadula hair sends you gifts, wig caps. We have a Nadula hair sash. We have another headband. Why am I all over the place, girl? This tea sends me every single time. Was that a bird? They done switched up the gifts. Okay, so we have a little bonnet. You can never have too many bonnets. We have an elastic band. This is that girl. Lashes for the girls that like to blink. We have a little powder brush. I'm gonna show you what the wig looked like when it came out of the box. This wig is a 13 by four kinky curly lace frontal wig. It is 150% density and it is and it is 24 inches long. If you look at the hairline, of course you see that it is pre-plucked, but the knots are not bleached. And if you pop the hood on the wig and you look on the inside, it has three combs and adjustable straps in the back. So what, the first thing I did when I received this wig, of course, was bleach the knots. Can y'all see this? The knots are beautifully bleached. This is what the wig looks like after it's been washed. Look at those curls. The curls look so, so, so good. We're in, I don't know why I'm like a leaning tower pizza. I keep doing this. What is this about? What is this about? So let's go ahead and get started with applying the wig. When I apply my wigs, I already, I already put on my wig cap. When I apply my wigs, I put on a wig grip 
boom, and a wig cap over it. The reason why I put my wig cap over my wig grip, one, my wig grip is not my skin tone. It, the wig grip also keeps the wig cap on my head. This is our base. It's giving very much ball cap method. So wig grip, wig cap. Now we're ready to apply the wig. Let's see what she gives. Oh girl, this cap is very spacious. Okay, so let's look at the hairline. What do we wanna do? Y'all wanna do side part, middle part? Side part, side part? Are we agreeing to side part? I never do a part on this side and I want, wait, do I? Girl, I don't know what I'm talking about. And look at that parting space. The knots back here didn't bleach very well, as you can see, but the ones up front bleached beautifully. So I'm just gonna do a part like this. Perfect. These roots look perfect. Why does my forehead itch? So I like to use a mousse to flatten my hairline. I like to use a ZLA Instant Flattener Flattening Souffle. Now I love this stuff. Y'all know I've been using this for a minute. You can use a mousse, you can use a wax stick, whatever you like, but I like using mousse. So let's go ahead and start. I like to take some of the mousse. Ooh, we have some. I can't do too much though because I'm almost out. <laughs> I just like to put the mousse on the hairline, like so. I also can put it in the part, but I'm trying to conserve the product. You know what I'm saying? So, all I'm trying to do is lay it down. There we go. That is enough mousse for today, girl, because I may need some for tomorrow. Okay. So I like to take a baby hairbrush and then just like brush down the rest of the hair. But y'all see how, like look at how them roots is curling up. Oh girl, it looks so good. Just to make sure we get all the little tiny hairs out of the way too. Cause you know how they like to curl up and be in your face. I cannot concentrate with that sound. I always forget, let me pull this hair, let me get this hair out of the way. Give myself a little bone thugs and harmony ponytail. Did they wear ponytails? <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, so that hair is out of the way. The wig is pulled back. And all we have to do now is flatten it with using like, either you can use a rapid strip, a headband, and I'm gonna use the headband they had gave me. Where's the one? I'm gonna take one of these cloth headbands and I'm gonna use it to flatten the hairline. You can use a hair dryer or air dry it. I'm not air drying, girl, because I don't have 10 years to air dry. So, okay, let me see if I can put this on right. Hold on. Girl, it's like putting a shirt over your head when you have on makeup. Oh my God. Boom. I know that's right. And then we're gonna bring this up over the hairline to flatten it. Girl, we could walk out the door and go to the grocery store while this dries. You may be wondering why you got on a lace hat, but fashion. I'm just gonna blow dry with the headband on. It does dry faster that way, so I'm just gonna do it like that. And then we're gonna flatten it with a hot comb. The hairline has been flattened and now we need to just pull this wig back and we about to flatten it with a hot comb. Y'all already know, this is the dangerous part to me. This is the Andis hot comb. I have it turned all the way up high. Now I pull the wig back on top of my wig cap because I'm not trying to burn my forehead. I'm not trying to burn my forehead today. Let's start this way. I'm gonna turn this thing crooked and I'm gonna take the back of the hot comb and I'm just gonna flatten it. I flatten it by just putting the hot comb through and flipping it upwards. Let me see if I can just do it like this. Cause I'm not trying to straighten it. I just want it to be like flat. Is this supposed to be a center part wig? I think so. Is it? Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Baby, this ain't hot. But I don't pull it all the way through the hair. I just pull it through the roots. And then I'm gonna take the back of the comb and just do like a little, just like a press on it. Y'all see the difference? I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and then after this we're gonna tint the lace. Cause as you can see the lace on this wig is, it's somebody else's skin tone.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace. Why am I lean? Is this lean? Like, what we, girl, we got a leaning problem over here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace on this wig. So, as you can see, the lace. Oh, let me take this headphone out. That's rude. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make her a little bit closer to my skin tone. And of course, if you know me, you already know I only use one lace tint spray. This is a Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray. I use the tone. It says middle on top, but this is medium brown. I love using this stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wig off, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray into the cap just to get the right tone. Now, this stuff is messy. Wherever you spray it, it's gonna, it's gonna tint everything around you, girl. I'm gonna put the wig inside of the box and then spray it like this. I'm zooming out so y'all can see it a little bit. Oh, can y'all see it? Girl, I got it on me. Oh, not on my face. Y'all see, we sprayed it on here, but look how messy it is. Like, it is messy. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this wig on high and warm, just to set the color in and dry it, and then we can go ahead and apply the wig, so. Woo, crossing fingers. I hope I didn't do too many layers, because it's looking a little dork. Actually, let me dab it off like a little bit. Just dab off some of the excess so it's not too dark. Yes. Okay, now I can blow dry it. So we tinted the lace, girl. We got our skin tone back. Hopefully our forehead will blend into the skin tone, but look, y'all see this? My forehead is itching for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but y'all see the difference? We flattened the hairline once again. It looks so good. It still has a little bit of a wave to it. Now we need to cut our lace. Now, cutting the lace is real easy and simple. We all know how to cut lace. Well, if you don't know how to cut lace, let me show you. So I like to use my Annie shears to cut my lace. I like to use shears, not regular scissors, because shears are, are much sharper, or they're supposed to be. Cutting the lace, I like to cut in a zigzag motion, because otherwise you're gonna get, like, it's gonna be forehead wig, forehead wig. And we want kind of like, is that your forehead or is that your wig? Like, that's what I want it to look like, so. I cut down the middle, and then I cut big i try and do little zigzags but that don't be working it ends up being a straight line anyway i cut in zigzag motions not in a straight line stay away from the straight line girl i'm gonna keep cutting across the hairline Okay, so what was I doing? I, I think I was cutting my lace. Girl, my mom just called me. <laughs> so I've already cut the lace and it looks good. The lace is tinted. It, it disappears when I turn my head to the side. It's like an illusion. It's like a game. Yes, ma'am. Boom, bam. Let's go ahead and apply the wig. Now what I have to do first, I told y'all I always forget to do this, but I'm not gonna forget to do it today. I need to separate my baby hairs first because i be struggling to get the baby hairs out after so now this is the first time i'm doing it like this so y'all pray for me i need to zoom in the camera i'm sorry girl okay so my baby hairs are gonna be right here so let me pull this little section out yes okay i like these baby hairs girl if they don't stop with this construction i'm gonna start fighting 
I'm gonna start fading. Should I twist it down like this? What am I doing? Well, I think that makes sense. Why I did that? Okay. Girl, that's gonna have to be it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so right here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna do a little baby twist. I don't know that's right. A little teeny tiny twist. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like a new way of applying a wig. I don't know what it is, but like when I find like new ways to do something, I'm like, I get so excited. Oh, that's a lot of hair, ain't it? Oh, we're gonna do this last piece right here. And I'm gonna twist it down. Yay! We got four little twists. This is actually cute. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and apply the wig. Now, when I apply, this is about to get messy, I feel like. Now, when I apply my wigs, I like to use a gel. And my favorite gel is from a black owned company called Wig Dealer. They have Wig Dealer Spray, they have Wig Dealer Gel. Both of them are great, but the gel is my favorite. This is the, girl, this container. This is the Wig Dealer Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel. Love using this. It has a silicone tip. Oh, girl, it's glued shut. How I use this, it has a silicone tip, and what I do is I open it up. You open it by twisting it, and then it uses a little arrow It says on. This thing is disgusting, because I done put gel makeup all up over it. It's getting gunk. But it has a silicone applicator tip, so once you squeeze the product out, you can apply it to your forehead. And that's what we're gonna do. It looks like it's blending already, girl. I could walk out the door right now. Let's go ahead and apply the wig. I'm gonna apply it in sections. So, I felt like I was getting a bump on my forehead right here, but I put some witch hazel and vitamin C on it, and I feel like it's not gonna grow no more. But I decided to sleep into my sleep in my makeup yesterday. Was it yesterday? Girl, and I kept it on till like, I kept my makeup on till like 11 o'clock, because my husband had went to, her, went to work and he came home for lunch, and I wanted to be cute when he came. <laughs> I wanted to be cute when he came home for lunch, and then as soon as he got home, I took it off. But I want him to see me, you know what I'm saying, with the makeup and the wig. That was gross, but I ended up washing it off. But girl, that's ignorant. I don't know why I did that. Okay, why am I applying this like this? But that's why my forehead itch. That's what I meant to say. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna apply the, the wig back on the forehead. Now, oh, I didn't tell y'all, I tinted my wig cap with the um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It has a sponge tip. It's in the color Deep Bronze. When I don't do the ball cap method and the wig cap isn't like the right skin tone, it very much gives border right there on your forehead. Everybody can see your wig cap and at that point, the jig is up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep going. Wait till this dries. This stuff dries pretty fast and it gets really sticky, so I'm gonna blow dry it. And then apply the lace to the forehead and then melt it down. So I get so nervous doing this. I don't know what that is. Is that too close? Is my forehead looking small? Oh, girl, it's kind of looking small. I had to scoot her back some. Okay. Oh, it's already looking good. Y'all see that? Y'all see it. Oh my God. So we're going to keep going across the forehead until all of the lace is completely melted. I also, like before I, before I speed this up, I also like to take the wig dealer gel and go over top of the lace and kind of like the roots of the hair to really get it melted, melted. It works. Okay, so I'm gonna take the back of a rat tail comb and then just kind of lay everything down. I'm trying to make sure this this hair is going forward too. Because the gel kind of seeps through the lace. So I wanna make sure this hair is going back and the baby hairs are going forward. Hopefully I'm explaining that well. But look how melted that is. Girl, what lace though? What lace, friend? You can't see it. I'm gonna keep going across the hairline and then I'll be back to finish it. Wait.
the hairline's not completely done, okay? But, cause the gel is still drying, but I'm doing this new method and I think it's working out and I'm super excited about it cause I'm not wasting time. So all I need to do is lay down, cut and lay down these baby hairs. So, the hairline is laid though. Like look at it, look at it. Get a good look sis, because it's about to get better than this. <laughs> all that rhymed. Okay, so we got the baby hairs here, right? I, well, all I have to do is cut them. We've already separated them away from the hair, the hairline. And I'm gonna cut them kind of short, like right here, right? And I'm gonna take a baby hair brush, a, cl a cleaner one, because y'all not gonna talk about me. Oh, this one's not that bad. Oh, she's she a little bit bad. And she crusty as hell, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna use the Got To Be Glued gel to lay down these baby hairs. So I'm gonna take a dirty baby hair brush. Y'all try and use a clean one. This was disgusting. Y'all please don't judge me, please. So I'm just gonna lay down this baby hair. And y'all know I like my baby hair is like, ooh, that's sticky, it's stickity, <laughs> stickity. Like edges, like I like for my baby hairs to look like edges. I don't like them to be all up on my forehead. Pop locking and dropping it, you see? Kind of like that, just like a little, like a little swoop swoop, like it's a little swoop swoop. Not only do I swoop down the baby hairs, I swoop the hair behind it. We're gonna, I'm gonna brush up this hair too because it's still wet. So I'm just gonna brush that back a little bit and make sure that is flattened. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Let's complete this side together. Y'all, ear tabs are the worst. I'm telling you, ear tabs are the freaking worst. Who plays with ear tabs? Like, they're the worst. <laughs> but I'm just gonna cut this down. I want it short. I don't really want like long sideburns. I love Ashanti. Some of y'all be saying I look like Ashanti and I be like, oh my God. <laughs> Who don't wanna look like Ashanti? Like, oh my God. Um, what was I talking about? Sideburns. <laughs> Ashanti used to have the sideburns, honey, but I'm not trying to give Ashanti on this. I like that with my straight hair. With this, I just wanna do like a little swoop. Oh my God, that is such a cute baby hair. I'm gonna lay it down just like that. Now, I like for my baby hairs to be crispity and crunchity. I brushed this part back to make it look a little bit more edge, edge-ish, 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 edgy. So next we're gonna do this side. I'm gonna do this side, I'm gonna speed it up. Oh my God, my battery's about to die. Why is so many things going wrong? So I'm gonna do this side. We're gonna go ahead and just layer down real nice. Talk to me nice. And then we're gonna melt the hairline using the elastic band that they gave us. So once we do the melt, we'll be able to add the mousse to the hair. Girl, we're moving through this much faster than I usually do, so I'm excited about it. Now let's go ahead and cut. raining outside so I want y'all to take a look at this hairline baby look at that oh my I'm looking at my eyelashes <laughs> once we put the elastic band on it's gonna melt melt but this is what the hair is looking like like we could stop right here like I don't have to have, add any mousse to the hair like I could just stop and be done like I really could be done after this but y'all know I have a com I have a compulsion okay I'm obsessed with mousse and I gotta mousse this hair up, so I'm gonna do that. But we need to melt the hairline using an elastic band. I'm gonna put it on in a second. The hair is still a little bit wet. And I'm also going to mousse the hair, okay? So when I'm moussing the hair, I'm gonna use my um, coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse. Y'all already know what it is. Before I do that, before I add the mousse, let me melt this hairline. Think the hairline is dry, girl. You can literally pull this wig back in a ponytail. We're just gonna put her on. Okay, so we're melting the hairline and next we're gonna take the hair down, like I said. Next we're gonna take the hair down and we can get into moussing this hair. I'm gonna go ahead and separate the hair. Y'all already know how I do it. I part it down the middle. 
And I like to just roll it up in a bun just so it's completely out of the way. We ain't got no mess. I'm just gonna section away a small section of hair at the bottom and then, oh. This part, I'm just gonna add some mousse to the hair and I'm just gonna comb it. I meant to put on chapstick. Are my lips bothering y'all? I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna take my Evolve 572 brush and wait, what did I say I was doing? I'm gonna take the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse, boom. And then I'm gonna use my Evolve 572 brush to detangle the hair. Am I gonna finger coil? I wonder if I can finger coil this. It be taking a long time to finger curl the coil. Girl, I got on a bathing suit right now. Did I tell y'all that? <laughs> and I'm gonna take my Evolve 572 brush and I'm gonna brush it through. Starting at the end and working my way up. You already know how curly hair works. Ow. Why do I say ow like this is <laughs> my hair? <laughs> oh girl. The hair detangles really easy. It's so smooth and it feels like it's taking on the mousse really, really well. Ooh, y'all see that clumpation? So I'm gonna take the finger and I'm just gonna finger coil. Like so. Y'all see that? <gasps> Look how pretty those curls are. Oh, we love to see it. Okay, I'm gonna keep going.
to it. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Do you see how this hair looks like it's growing out of my scalp? Look at it. Look at it. First of all, I'll take a look at the hairline. Do y'all remember we didn't do the ball cap method? No, you don't. You don't remember that. You don't remember that. Sis, it looks like we did the ball cap method. It looks like this hair grew out of my scalp. The texture is gorgeous. It's fluffy. It's just, it looks like what I imagine my hair would look like if I ain't pull my hair into ponytails my whole childhood. <sighs> and it's soft. But you see how defined they can get? But you also can throw it out. See, this is like a defined curl. Can you see? Just to remind you, we did not pluck the hairline. We did bleach the knots and it looks amazing. Let's go ahead and show you the back. Let me show you, is there hair under my arms? A libby. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the side. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Let me not ruin it. Let's see what y'all can see. Let's see y'all can. Y'all see that? Ooh. Ooh. Baby, look how big it's getting, girl. It gets bigger and bigger. That's what she said. My only cons on this wig is that it didn't match. The lace didn't match my skin tone. And the knots were a little bit harder to bleach up in this middle area. That's it. Pros, I mean, look at me. I mean, look at this wig. Look at this scalp I got on my head. Like, it's, it's doing everything I needed to do. I love the hair. I want to say thank you again to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This was unnecessary. Before y'all leave, of course, I have to give y'all a coupon code. Now, we actually have two coupon codes for the wigs down below your coupon code that you get to use will be based on the amount that you pay for your wig so i'll leave those coupon codes down in the description box don't forget to grab your coupon code goodie bag goodie bag goodie bag so i want to say cheers i don't know by the time this video was up it'll be my birthday so happy birthday <laughs> It's weird to say happy birthday to me, but it's my birthday, so I'll say cheers. I want to say thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. You all are gifts to me, so I'm so grateful that you watch videos, comment, subscribe, chat with me, laugh with me. I just love it. I love the community that we have here, and I'm so grateful for you so i want to say thank you again on my birthday because y'all are gifts to me that's it girl with this cheers cheers thank you so much for watching y'all let me know what you think about this unit down below i feel like y'all gonna like this one i do i do we be on we be here when it comes to curly wigs so y'all let me know what you think about this wig down below cheers i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye